Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are continuing on in our brief series in which we are learning to understand wiring diagrams specifically related to control so that you might be able to read and or design your own electrical control system. In our last video, we talked about many of the most common symbols that are used in electrical drawings and how to identify those symbols. By being able to identify all of the various symbols, you will have a much better chance of being able to successfully read and draw an electrical diagram. For the purpose of this video, we want to start by talking about a specific section of an electrical wiring diagram, which is the main power distribution portion of the drawing. Just a reminder, these videos are focusing mostly on wiring diagrams you might see for an industrial control panel. However, most of the principles can apply to any type of electrical drawing. Within the main power portion of the panel, we will focus on things such as how to properly distribute power to the various devices in your circuit, and how to draw everything so, so that it is easy to understand. Keep in mind, the items we discuss today are meant to be a guide and are not intended to replace proper electrical design education. It is important to consult with an electrical engineer or qualified person to ensure the system you design meets all electrical codes and will function safely and as expected. With that said, let's look at some schematics so that we might better understand the main power distribution portion of a drawing. So if you'll remember from our last video, we talked about the different symbols you'll see in electrical diagrams. As mentioned before, in this one, we're going to focus more on power and how to understand and draw the different power uh, diagrams you might see in various electrical drawings uh, and focusing more on uh, power distribution and how that power is fed to the different devices that we might see. We'll look at a few different examples and hopefully by the end of this uh, you'll under you'll have a better understanding of how you might draw if you're if that's something you're working on or how you might just simply be able to read or better understand one of these diagrams so we'll go ahead and go to our first example here um, and in this particular diagram you can see we've got um, two 240 volt circuits that are feeding this particular system uh, again, if you'll remember from our, our last video, we talked about the different symbols that we will see. So here you can see the symbol for some circuit breakers. We have two two-pole 30 amp circuit breakers. The boxes simply represent terminal blocks. And then this little box here is representing a power supply. So again, we have, just so you understand, we have AC power here. We have DC power. So on our AC power on this particular circuit, we have 240 volts being fed through a 30, 30 amp circuit breaker down to some terminal blocks that are being jumpered so they're going to multiple locations part of it's going out to a relay power circuit probably for some control and then it's being jumpered over to it looks like a power supply a 5 amp power supply which is going to provide dc power for a different type of um, you know uh, power for our system so if we follow dc over we'll see that we're um, powering a plc and in this case, this little double box, this is represented as a fuse uh, terminal block. So this is a regular terminal block. This is a fuse terminal block. So you see the little 2A, that's a 2 amp terminal block powering a PLC. We're also powering an HMI. And then we're powering, it looks like, some thermal input modules. This is for some control. So this is a good example of a power circuit that uses both AC and DC. And most of the examples we looked at today, you're going to see something similar where we have both AC and DC, and we're converting that with a power supply. Let's go ahead and look at our next slide. And in this example, you see, again, we have AC and DC power. And this one's a little different in that we're feeding 120 volts into some terminal blocks. One of those is fused with a 10 amp fuse block. And here we have a power, it says AC power fail. This is actually a relay, you see A2, A1. This is a power fail relay in this particular case. And that's just monitoring our utility power. If we lose power, it'll alert the PLC and the operator can know if they've lost utility power. We also have utility power being fed to an outlet, which is um, being used by a UPS, an AC UPS. So anything downstream of this UPS, whether it's AC or DC, is going to be protected by this battery backup for a certain amount of time. 
On this UPS, you see we have here a uh, power supply. It's providing our DC power, which is located over here. So coming off that DC power, again, we have some circuit breakers, uh, uh, several two amp circuit breakers. We're powering a PLC, another PLC, and a network switch. Again, so you can see various symbols here, but you, the, the most important thing I want you to look at is how we're feeding power. We're feeding our live and our neutral, our live and our neutral, our outlet, our UPS. It's really quite simple if you can just follow these lines, understand what they mean, read the, read the labels DCB, that's DC breaker one, DC breaker two. Very simple to understand once you understand the basic terminology. Let's go ahead and look at our this one, again, similar in that we have both AC and DC power, but a little more going on here. We again have 120 volts as our main feed going to a 15 amp circuit breaker. In this case, we have a surge suppressor, or excuse me, a surge protector. So any surge that comes into this particular system is going to protect anything downstream of that protector. And then from there, we have our ACL or L1 coming and feeding a light through a door switch. Feeding again a relay. This is drawn a little bit differently, but it's a power fell relay. And then also fitting, again, drawn a little differently, a duplex receptacle that a UPS is being plugged into. And that is feeding the rest of our AC circuit here and up here. So in that circuit, we have a power supply and a PLC, which obviously takes AC power. Coming over to our DC, we'll run our lines here. We have DC positive leg and our DC negative. We have several breakers, mostly two amp breakers, feeding a switch, a touch screen, this AI IO power. This is an analog input IO power, so for some control. And a DIO is digital input or output power, again, for some control. So, he, so here you see we have uh, three different examples that we've looked at, um, all somewhat similar in the way that they, they distribute power. We have main feed, and then we're feeding several different devices here, a light, a relay, a receptacle, uh, a power supply, and then a PLC. So we're feeding all these um, devices in a very, very similar manner. So if you understand the way that that power is distributed, you'll, much, you'll have a much better understanding of how these diagrams function. You'll be able to read them, and if so, uh, and, and, if the, and if the scenario calls for it, you'll be able to draw these types of diagrams and feel confident in doing so. As you can see, there is a lot that can go into the power distribution portion of a drawing. It is important to make sure that you are following all electrical codes and to make sure that you are consulting with an electrical engineer or someone with the experience needed to ensure your design is sound. It should always be top priority to create an electrical design that is safe, first and foremost, with proper function, a close second. For a full line of industrial control panel hardware and thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.